Welcome to Plovdiv. Plovdiv is Bulgaria's second largest city and in today's video I'm going to show you around some of the nightlife in the city. Now be aware that Plovdiv isn't a big city so there isn't a lot of crazy wild nightlife that you may get in other big European cities. It is a much more chilled and relaxed city so as you can see here this was taken on a Monday night. It was very quiet but there is a district in which most of the bars and pubs are located in the city. So stick to the end of the video to see that district. It's called the Kapana district of the city. So the Kapana district is where you'll find all the pubs, the bars, the cocktail bars. So I definitely recommend that if you do want to have a night out in Plovdiv, you go to the Kapana district. You do have lots of cafes that you can sit outside on the main strip of the city, but I recommend you go to Kapana, lots of pubs, bars, cocktail bars, I definitely recommend you go there. It's much more of a chilled nightlife vibe rather than a crazy wild vibe with lots of nightclubs. It's a much more chilled place. If you do like a chilled, relaxed night out, having a drink, having a pint, having a cocktail, I definitely recommend coming to Plovdiv because it's a really nice, chilled atmosphere and definitely go to the Kapana district to do that. So if you're new to the channel, please do click the subscribe button. It really does help the channel. So make sure you do that right now. And also do click thumbs up, click the like button. It just really helps the channel and it gives other people a chance to see this video if they've maybe been to Plovdiv before or if they are coming to Plovdiv soon. So, so far we're still on the main strip of the city of Plovdiv, but in a minute you'll see the Kapana district, which is where you'll get most of the bars in the city. Now, if you do click onto the description of this video, you can actually book tours and attractions in Plovdiv. So if you are coming to Plovdiv or if you are planning to come to Plovdiv, do click onto the description. I'll also drop a comment in the comment section as well, but do go onto the description, click onto the top link, and using that link, you can actually purchase guided tours of the city of Plovdiv. So if you are interested in coming, I highly recommend you do that because it just gives you more context to the history and the background of the city. So if you don't know, Plovdiv may potentially be the oldest continuously inhabited city in all of Europe. So it's a, it's a city full of history, steeped in history. So if you do like seeing some ancient ruins, some beautiful architecture, I definitely recommend you come to Plovdiv. So now we're actually coming into the Kapana district. You've got lots of these multi-coloured houses, colourful buildings, cobbled streets, and you've got lots of cafes and bars, as you'll see in a minute, where people just sit and chill, have a beer, have a drink. It really is a nice vibe. Again, it's not wild, it's not crazy. So if you do like crazy nightlife, you may not enjoy this, but if you do like a relaxed ambiance, I think you'll really like Plovdiv because it's a very, very chill place. Now, as I mentioned before, I actually recorded this video on a Monday night. So as you can imagine, a Monday night is not going to be the most lively night of the week, but still people were out and about, people were having food. It was a really nice evening. It was really warm. So I was there in October, 2023, and the weather during the day was perfect, really sunny, really warm. And at night time, it was really warm as well. So not cold at all. But people were still out and about, even on a Monday night and Tuesday as well, when I went out on Tuesday. People were still out and about, as you can see here, people having drinks and cocktails and food on the street here in Kapana. So again, I definitely do recommend, even if it is a Monday night or a Tuesday night, definitely come out to the Kapana district because you've got lots of bars which are full of people. People still having drinks, people still having a good time. So don't worry if you are coming during the week because the bars will still be busy with people. It won't be wild as I said before, but it will still be busy with people. You can still have a nice relaxed drink on the cobbled streets. So you should definitely come and check it out, even if you are here on a weekday. Now, if you are planning to come to Plovdiv sometime soon, just be aware that you're probably going to fly into Sofia Airport first. If Sofia is the capital of Bulgaria, it's the main airport in the country. So you're probably gonna fly into Sofia and then from Sofia Central train station, you can take a train down to Plovdiv. It's very affordable. Trains are very affordable in Bulgaria. So you can take a train from Sofia Central Station down to Plovdiv. That's probably the best way of getting to Plovdiv. Now, if you're from London, there are actually direct flights from London to Plovdiv Airport. So you can do that if you're from London, um, but otherwise you're probably gonna fly into Sofia. 
So please do drop a comment in the comment section if you've been to Plovdiv before. Do you like Plovdiv? Have you had a night out in Plovdiv? And also drop a comment as well if you're planning to come to Plovdiv sometime very soon. I'd be very interested to know, but I do hope you enjoyed the video today.